Welcome. So what I have here is uh, a nice complex uh, expression, right? I, I have 5 minus 2i plus 5 plus 3i divided by 1 plus i minus 2 minus 4i. So what we're going to do in this case is um, we need to simplify this. And to do that, what we're going to do is simplify the numerator and the denominator first, and then we'll kind of see where we can go from there. So up here, I have a, just addition of two binomials. And since I'm adding them, I can just combine the like terms. Notice I have my real and my imaginary. So 5 plus 5 is just going to equal 10. And negative 2i plus 3i is going to equal a positive i. Now on the denominator, I have to be a little bit more careful because I'm subtracting the two binomials. And notice that I'm subtracting this whole term. So I need to make sure I apply distributive property. So in this case, I'll have 1 plus i minus 2 positive 4i. Right? So we need to make sure we apply distributive property. So now when I simplify this, I have 10 plus i. And then over here, I'll just combine the 1 minus 2 and the i plus 4i. So 1 minus 2 is going to become a negative 1. And then i plus 4i is going to become a positive 5i. All right? So now that's going to be very helpful because now I see I have, all right, I have a um, a uh, rational complex number. But now, I'm, when working with dividing, we don't want to leave with our i in the denominator. So what I need to do now is multiply by the conjugate. And remember, the conjugate is going to be your exact same binomial, but now with your opposite sign. OK, so now I multiply by my conjugate. And to kind of make things a little bit multiply on left and right, uh, or on, on top and bottom, so now, just to kind of make this a little bit quicker, we need to make sure we apply FOIL. And this is going to be in parentheses as well. So by applying FOIL, we're going to have something that's going to look a little bit like this. So I will work that multiplication over here. Then we'll simplify it down below. 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. 10 times 5i is a negative 50i. i times negative 1 is a negative i. And i times negative 5i is going to be a negative 5i squared. All right. Then down below, we have negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. Negative, negative 1 times negative 5i is going to be a positive 5i. 5i times negative 1 is a negative 5i. And 5i times negative 5i is a negative 25i squared. All right. So it's really important when you notice when you multiply a number by its conjugate, what happens is our middle terms add up to 0. So we can just kind of say these are um, going to be eliminated or added up to 0. All right. So now what we need to look at is how we're going to simplify this. And also remember that i squared can be represented as negative 1. So we're going to want to rewrite these two terms. So I have negative 5 i squared, which would be negative 5 times negative 1, which is positive 5. And then I have negative 25 i squared, which is negative 25 times negative 1, which equals positive 25. So when I rewrite this problem, I'm going to use uh, positive 5 and negative 25. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure we have everything correct. Negative 5 i squared, negative i, negative 50 i. All right, so let's simplify this. So here, um, let's actually rewrite these to make it a little bit easier. So this is going to be positive 5. This will be positive 25. Now I can just combine my real and my imaginary components. So negative 10 plus 5 is going to be a negative 5. Negative 50i minus i is going to be a negative 51i. All over 1 plus 25 is 26. Now I need to rewrite my answer in complex form, which is a plus bi. So I'm going to divide the 26 into both of my terms. So I have a negative 5 over 26 minus 51i over 26. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your complex expression. Thanks.